Hey YouTube, April 3rd, 2022, and today is a crazy day. It is springtime, and we are out riding. Finally, the weather has become nice, and hopefully this will continue. Um, we hit 10,000 miles on the KRX. That's quite the milestone, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the things that have gone wrong in this 10,000 mile period, the things I think you should watch out for if you own one of the KRXs, and what my experience has been uh, throughout ownership of the 2020 KRX. But before I do that, please hit like and subscribe and share this video with everybody so I can get the subscriber base up. For those of you that are returning, uh, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. So moving on, uh, quite the milestone, guys, 10,000 miles. And first of all, I'm going to talk about some of the modifications that I did to the KRX since I've owned it. Uh, and you, if you followed my channel, you've seen it in previous videos. The first thing um, and the most major was the complete shock therapy upgrade. I actually took this out to Phoenix and had the guys at shock therapy and their expertise improve, uh, put in the shock system and the spring system, greatly improve the ride. The Graves exhaust pipe, which I've ordered from Hester Motorsports in Raton, New Mexico. By the way, John, sorry to see that you're closing your doors. I wish you the best of luck, buddy. I appreciate all the help that you gave me throughout the ownership of my machine. And if you guys are looking to pick up some accessories for either your Kawasaki T-Rex or KRX, hit up Hester's Motorsports in Raton. Um, he's shutting the doors after many, many years of business, and he has everything on clearance. I'll throw a link down below in the description. Uh, so that was the upgrade, one of the upgrades from him. Uh, of course, the rear bumper. The Super ATV uh, bracket here to enclose uh, the trunk or the cargo area, if you will. The light bar. I've also did the Super ATV uh, aluminum radius rods on the back to give more clearance and lighter. The S and B particle separator, guys. If you own a, a, a KRX or uh, a T-Rex, this is a great investment. It actually saves the life of your air filters, and we all know they're not cheap. So, very, very good investment there on the SB particle separator. Mrs. Ray Horvath Productions there, just looking at her phone. Mac in there, so I'm gonna try to move around here and get this going. The rugged radio system, specifically designed for the KRX, good investment. As you can see, we have our headsets. <clears throat> we can actually talk to each other on the intercom. Uh, play, pairs with your phone, Bluetooth, you can listen to music or answer phone calls or speak to other people that have the uh, rugged system or rugged walkie-talkies. One of the things I'm going to focus on as well are these uh, uh, rock protectors or on the side here. These are actually Kawasaki's brand and I had those installed early on. If you've seen these, the rock sliders makes a big uh, difference if you're going over rough terrain. Um, the Gladiator X Comp tires, guys. I have switched tires on this thing a couple times. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you saw my other videos, I went with a different brand previously, and the wear on them was extremely quick, and I wasn't happy. In my opinion, at this particular point, until I find something better, uh, these, in my opinion, are the longest lasting best riding tires that I have find that I have found in my experience on the uh, for this machine also for this type of terrain which as you can see is very rocky sharp jagged rock sand all that good stuff uh, moving right along to the front um, I put on the Kawasaki brand uh, a arm guards pretty nice to have those on the quad boss lights super ATV flip up windshield and of course the quad boss light bar up there I will notate though slight note here on the Super ATV windshield I had one of these uh, little shock absorbers actually go out completely on it 
which is very interesting so my windshield was kind of sagging to one side and would not stay open but it basically just gave out entirely and I have it here you bear with me for a second so basically this shock went out and there's no more pressure in it it's just horrible but they do sell these individually uh, from the Super ATV website, which is kind of cool so you don't have to replace the whole windshield. So I bought both pair. Um, it just makes sense to put on both of them, and that's what we had done. Um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much the upgrades that I did to the machine. Now focusing on some of the things that has gone wrong with it. Obviously, the battery went out within the first year. Um, you don't tend to get a lot of life out of those anyway. The battery I replaced it with comes from just any auto parts store. I happen to pick the one in here up at O'Reilly's, uh, but not too expensive. I did have the clutch one-way bearing go out, and I'll throw a picture up here on the screen to let you see that. I also have a previous video on that. I'll throw, so if you want to check that out, I'll throw a link to that as well. Um, that was on the transmission basically on the clutch what would happen is You would be driving normal speed and the clutch would disengage and it would sound like basically that you're free rolling uh, That was handled by Kawasaki and taken care of under a Recall actually if I remember correctly uh, Moving along to the next issue that I had with it was the clutch weights the clutch weights and um, they they did not last very very long I had a shifting happening that was similar to an automatic car where you go through gears and as you know on the KRX it's a CVT so it should be one smooth motion but we were getting a jolt like if you were going through gears so if you guys buy one of these one of the first things you want to replace is the clutch kit have that put on and you're gonna see a big difference um, and I went with the West Coast clutch kit I also have a video on that if you want to check that out and I'll throw a link below to West Coast if you want to order those um, weights as well um, other issues other issues let's see <clears throat> that's it actually guys I think that's pretty much it 10,000 freaking miles and of ownership and that's a long time a lot of miles and that those were basically all the issues that I had now I do do all my service on it I take care of it the best I can um, and the majority of those miles were put on out in this area southern New Mexico the Doniana mountain range really nice out here but yeah guys quite the milestone 10,000 miles highly impressed with the reliability of Kawasaki highly impressed with customer service when I did have an issue and I just think it's a uh, it was built to last and I think I'm still gonna get a ton more miles out of it but anyway guys I apologize for not putting a video up it's been a long time I know this all the crazy stuff going on in the world and then my job has been keeping me there an average of 14 to 16 hours a day. So I will try to do more follow-up videos. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please drop them down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video.